Well, Scholar Emmanuel is a large primary school situated in Rill in the county of Denbyshire. Within the school we have a very clear, succinct and manageable uh, tracking system that is monitored by our deputy head teacher Mrs Alison Mathias uh, that ensures that we raise standards uh, in all subject areas within our school. This information is shared with all uh, parties within the school and has, has been a massive part of the improvements that we've made within our school. When I came to the school, um, the levels with that the pupils were achieving were extremely low. Um, our children were struggling to make a level one by the end of the foundation phase and um, level three by the end of key stage two. We decided then to um, implement a tracking system that would track our pupils right from nursery right the way through to year six. And since then, we have seen an improvement from um, the level one to now we're in the upper quartile. Um, a lot of the children achieving level three by the end of foundation for language maths and PSE and also um, level five and we've actually had three level sixes this year for literacy. We track pupils in every single subject three times a year. We give feedback on four levels. Feedback is given to the teachers by myself. It's then given to pupils and that's by the teachers. We give feedback to the governors and then feedback to the local authority. It means that everyone within the school feels accountable the most beneficial and innovative part of this whole system really is where our teachers sit on a one-to-one -one basis with our children and give them individual feedback. Um, therefore the children feel responsibility for ensuring that they improve afterwards. Indicators that we look for in the tracking system are children who um, have remained static from one um, assessment period to another assessment period. We also look for children who are underachieving, um, whether or not that is just a blip in performance or whether we need to look at that further and maybe put them on the additional learning needs register. And we also look for the children who have made significant progress and maybe those children who need to go on to the additional learning needs register to ensure that they continue making that progress. It's only when you stop and look back that you realise just how much progress you have made and how far we have come.